Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sani of LS Web Apps. I welcome back to this tutorial series, which is Vue.js um, to do app introduction. Okay, so um, in the last video, we had a look at um, simple data binding capabilities of Vue.js. In this video, let's take a look at how we can do loops and if statements. Okay, so um, sometimes you may have an array of data and you want to repeat over that and display all of it in your HTML. So for example, let's say we have a list of to do's in our data property here so i'll just create many objects um, inside this to do here and each object has a title property so we'll say to do one and i'll just duplicate that uh four five times okay so let's give them a distinct names to do two three four and five so let's say we want to use Vue.js to loop over each of these to do's and display their title in our html dom how do we do that Vue.js has this um thing called v4 and i'll show you what that means so um in here let's just create a edit tag and we'll say to do's and down here let's have a unordered um, list and let's have many list items for each of the to do's so we'll have li here so to loop over um each of the to do's and list them out as li tags that is list um, items we're gonna have to use what vue.js provides for us called v4 and inside of this um, the value for that we're gonna have to say to do in to do's so what we're saying is loop over the to do's property inside of this data here which is this to do's and for each instance set it as to do so all we have to do is remember that in the last video when we use data binding to output um, the message in our data property here um, the same thing we can say to do dot title so what that's going to do is at each instance it's going to try to get a title from that to do and list it out so let's go back in our browser and we refresh now as you can see we have to do one up until five as we have here in our to do's array okay so that's um, how we do for loops in Vue.js Let's see how we can do if statements. So um, let's have a button, um, a checkbox, which can toggle um, the visibility of um, this UL element here on all that list, okay? So let's create an input um, right below here. So I'll put it in its own paragraph tag, input. Okay, so it's gonna be a checkbox. So Vue.js is very smart about um, what kind of values um, it deals with. So if it, it knows that it's a checkbox, so definitely it's going to um, have to default to a Boolean true or false. So let's say V model. So Vue.js has a V model uh, property, just like uh, we've shown here. We have to bind it to some property on our data a property of Vue.js instance. In this case, let's say uh, V model equals to show to do's. So this is gonna have to be a boolean property in here let's set it to true so show to do is true so anytime that we uncheck this um checkbox here it's gonna it's set this um show to do's to false and if we check it it's gonna set it back to true so um let me just show you that that's happening so um say checked checked or not so let's say show to do's. So what we're doing is that we are data binding um, this show to do's here and outputting it whether it's um, checked or not. So go back in our browser, refresh, checked or not. Um, let's actually make that more descriptive. Let's say showing to do's or not. And um, we'll put a semicolon there. Save that, refresh. So right now we are showing to do's or not the answer is true when i uncheck that it's going to be false check it true uncheck it is false okay so basically what we want is anytime that we check this this list here is shown when we uncheck it this list here is hidden so vue.js um, provides something called v if so basically what happens with that is you give it some boolean boolean property on your data um property here and um if that resolves to true, it um, 
shows that element and if it resolves to false it hides that element okay so let's give it show to do's and um, save that back in our browser refresh when i uncheck this we should have this um, hidden from our browser i uncheck it is hidden i check it is shown uncheck check okay so there is another one which is different from v if and it is v else i'm um, sorry v show and basically it's the same thing as v if but there's one subtle difference and i'll show you in a moment so in our browser let's demonstrate that they both act the same but there is one difference like i said before v if um actually removes that element from the dom whereas v show does not okay so with v if after refreshing the browser let's just do an inspect so looking at our chrome inspector here you can see that this ul element is in the dom but when i uncheck this um the way v if um when it tries to hide some elements the way it um, hides them is that it removes them from the dom that's what differentiates it from v show which doesn't remove it from the dom but just applies a uh, display non property to it so as you can see the ul element disappears when i check this it's reinserted in the dom again okay so let's try that out with v show um, v show does not remove from the dom just applies a display non property as you can see ul element is shown here when i uncheck with v show if it's false it just says display none and um when it's not false what that is true it just removes that display none property okay so in addition to v if and v show there is another um, property which is v else so basically what v else does is that if v show um resolves to false instead of just um hiding that element here it um, hides it and then also shows that um a value which has the v else um, property applied to it so in here let's make sure that when the to do's are shown we say no to do's for you today okay and then let's apply v else to this p element here so v else basically if this is hidden this is going to be shown okay so back in the browser refresh when i am um, uncheck this we should be shown this p um, tag here which says no to do's for you today so uncheck no to do's for you today check um we are being shown the to do's and the same applies for v if as well and um refresh and um, uncheck no to do's for you today check uh, we are shown the to do's okay so that's it guys that's how you do for loops and if and else is uh, with vue.js as you can see vue.js is very easy to work with and very simple to remember the syntaxes and the apis for it and i thank you for watching i will see you soon in the next video cheers bye bye